your general reading with Angelic Ascensions. My name is Angela. Well, welcome to you guys. Thank you for joining me today. This is going to be a general reading for the zodiac sign of Libra. Um, and just know this, as the reader, I read I, I read whatever it is that I see for the zodiac sign of Libra. Let's get right into this. This is a video for the Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Holy Spirit, show me what it is that you have for the Librans. With Libra, Holy Spirit. It looks like, Libra, um, at this point in time, you might be making some decisions about, maybe making some decisions about your relationship. This looks like it's going to be a love relationship for some of you that I'm talking about first off. You're going to be evaluating whether or not your needs in a relationship are being met. Because for some of you Librans, it feels like you might feel as though you're settling in a situation with somebody. Uh, see, somebody that's unhappily married, whether you guys are married on paper or not. Some type of commitment here. And it feels like somebody is not happy in the situation. And somebody might feel stuck. Might feel like a relationship is kind of cramping their lifestyle. And I'm feeling like... Um, this might even be sexual needs because it feels like, I don't know, like it looks like one partner is abstaining while the other one is not. So it feels like somebody might be getting their needs met outside of this relationship. I don't know. Let's get into this. Holy Spirit, show me what it is that you have for the Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Yeah. I'm seeing somebody's not happy. Someone, I see a father figure. It could be an earth sign father. Oh, my God, a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This could be somebody with earth and fire in their chart that you're dealing with. Um, what are we reading for? I'm reading for Libra. Libra, some of you are dealing with a Gemini, and some of you are dealing with an earth fellow earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Maybe this is you. Libra, maybe you have earth in your chart. Maybe you're a Libra Virgo cusp, possibly. Yeah, you got a decision to make it looks like. You got somebody that is facing some type of temptation. And somebody that has their doubts about this relationship. It feels like there's a relationship that has become unhealthy and somebody might be thinking about leaving, walking away from a situation. I don't know, I'm feeling like somebody might feel a bit insecure in this relationship. Somebody might feel a little sidelined, might feel a bit discarded. Somebody feels thrown away and they feel like maybe their needs or their wants are not being addressed in this relationship. Somebody feels like they're bringing their A game to a relationship, feeling like they're, they're very generous, very loving in the relationship for the right reasons, while there is somebody veering off into another situation. You got a Cancerian here that some of you might be dealing with. You might have Cancer in your chart. Somebody is emotionally unavailable. It feels like somebody is distracted. Somebody might be lying to you. They could be lying to themselves about maybe their lifestyle choices. <sighs> lifestyle choices. It feels like somebody could be in the closet about maybe their lifestyle like their, their preference, their sexual preference, maybe they're in. But I'm also feeling like somebody is a manipulator, could be argumentative for no reason. Somebody, you might feel like somebody starts arguments for no reason, can be aggressive and domineering. Might be um, somebody that over depends on the opinions of other people, the validation of others. I'm also saying somebody who might be stuck in the past. Somebody who is boastful, egotistical, and a bit stubborn. Some of you might find yourself in a third party situation. I don't know, somebody really does feed, like, have this desire, this need to feed their own ego. It's like somebody in this situation you might feel acts entitled. 
if somebody tells you what you want to hear, again, going back to manipulation, control. Some of you, no doubt, are dealing with a water sign, like Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But again, I did say Cancer. This is Cancer. You got the chariot and you got the moon. So some of you are, no doubt, there's clear Cancer energy here. There is some type of deception surrounding a third party situation. And I feel like this deception, I feel like somebody's um, like received their fill of this situation. Like they've had enough of it. Some of you, this is a long distance relationship or somebody could be maintaining an outside third party relationship long distance. Yeah, you're dealing with somebody who is a manipulator, no doubt about it. Somebody drinks a lot. Might be an alcoholic. Might be a user of some type. If it's not a user of chemical substances, then this is like a user of people. A womanizer. Or flip it. I don't know the term for, like the derogatory term for like women using men, but whatever the case may be, it feels like it's that type of vibe. A user. I don't know, maybe you really did cater to this person's needs. Yeah, maybe you were really there for this person. Like I said, loyal. Loyal to a fault. And now I feel like, yeah, somebody's really coming to terms with this situation. Maybe before, like, was wanting to fight for this relationship, didn't really want to let it go, even though they were unhappy. Um, it recognizes that there's somebody else involved in this relationship. There's more than just you. Like I stated, there's a third party situation. Some of you, this could no doubt be a same-sex relationship. Others of you, it's not. Um, but yeah, the point is you're recognizing that there's... You're feeling like a third wheel in this situation. Some of you, you might know about this other person. Both of you might know about one another. And um, yeah, things are not really popping in the bedroom anymore. They're not getting it from you. They're getting it from somebody else. Keeping a lot of secrets here. There might be some things about this situation that haven't been revealed to you yet that might be, you know, on its way. You might be finding out about. I did mention a father figure. You might be finding out that somebody um, has fathered a child outside of this relationship. Or for some of you, you co-parent children with this person. Um, I don't know. One of you views the other one as selfish. And um, somebody is realizing, you know what, it's time to get out of this situation. Somebody is like very aggressive. It's like somebody talks to you any type of way. Somebody's very, um, maybe competitive. Let's see, somebody's really out there having a lot of one night stands. Like they're really getting it in, but not with you. Let's see, let's see Libra, let's see what's going on. Somebody is very impulsive, a bit selfish, sends you mixed signals. Ooh, okay. Some of you, I don't know, maybe you're just very witchy. Maybe you're doing some type of rituals. I don't know, maybe this is something that you do for work. I don't know. <laughs> maybe. Yeah, some of you are no doubt dealing with an Aries or somebody with Aries in their chart. Uh, maybe that's why you're doing rituals on this person. Anyway, um, yeah, you are. It feels like singlehood, like you're, you're tired of fighting with this person. Like It feels like maybe you are wanting to settle something and to be amicable with this person, but you're realizing, yeah, it's time. You have the Two of Cups in reverse. Yeah, you're realizing that it's time to be like, it's time It's time to look at singlehood as, as a viable option here. Maybe some of you have been hanging in there, maybe because um, one of you has been financially more dependent on the other one. So it looks like some of you might be looking for a job. You might be going back into the job market. Yeah. We'll get, get to that in a minute, but that's what I'm seeing. Like some, of, Well, I'll just put it out there. Some of you might be thinking about going back to school. You might be thinking about changing your career. Now that you are, you know, walking away from what you feel, what you're summing up in your head is an unhealthy situation. Yeah, you're not happy. You may have not have been happy for a long time. 
maybe like five years or more in a relationship, just kind of sticking around, coasting by. Maybe hoping that things would get better with this person and it feels like you're just emotionally spent, emotionally exhausted of the situation, realizing that there's somebody that's just not going to commit. So it feels like you really are stepping into your power. I heard Sagittarius. I know I'm reading for a Libra. This could no doubt be a Leo. It could be an Aries. I did mention Aries before, but I get Sagittarius so strong. Some of you might be dealing with a Sagittarius or you have Sag in your chart. Um, maybe you have a Taurus. Um, yeah, some of you, I don't know, maybe somebody might be meeting somebody. Maybe somebody is meeting somebody at work. This could be the person that somebody's cheating on you with. Somebody at work. Like somebody could have gotten a hold of somebody that uh, might be getting attention from somebody that's younger than them. Maybe they're getting some type of ego boost from that. So like an ego, some type of ego stroke from that situation. Yeah, and so the tower is here. Like the tower is in reverse. So maybe you do know something. Maybe you did find, it's obvious that you found out about something. Yeah, so now it feels like you're finding the inner strength to leave a situation. And it feels like whatever gray cloud was over your head for a period of time, like this relationship could have created that gray cloud for you. And it feels like maybe now you're seeing things clearly. You're coming out of some type of depression and realizing, yeah, this is something that you could actually do, something that you could actually accomplish. Some of you Libras, you're moving, you're changing homes. You're feeling like moving is a positive step in the right direction for you. So you could definitely be searching for a new home. Some of you, either you work in the medical profession or there is somebody that might be ill around you. Could be in the hospital. Somebody could be recovering from some type of um, illness. I did mention a career change. Like some of you could really be, um, you know, figuring out what this next phase of your life looks like as a single person. Like what is it that you really want to do with your career? What is it that you really want to do for a living? It feels like you might be exploring your options and examining what is a viable type of um, option for you when it comes to work. And I feel like you're going to be leaving behind a work environment or a work situation, you know, where you're just kind of like going through the motions. You're not really happy with your current job. And maybe you're thinking about picking up, um, picking up again, a creative project. Maybe you've been stalling. Maybe you decided to put something on the back burner. And maybe, like I said, you're looking at really picking up a hobby and making it into a career. Some of you, yeah, maybe you are moving from place to place. Or maybe your partner is. Maybe you guys are parting ways on that type of note. Um, but yeah, I feel like there's some type of newfound inspiration that you are getting now that you're coming back into your own. Like you're starting to feel like yourself again. Gain, regaining this confidence that maybe you felt like you lost in this relationship. Like I said, something was stifling you in this relationship stifling your potential and so it feels like you don't have time for that anymore i don't know some of you this might be like a relationship with your family member is stifling you there could have been like maybe you felt pitted against with like maybe you your partner um maybe they didn't get along with your friends they didn't get along with your family maybe i don't know they didn't like your significant other Especially maybe after they found out the truth about a third party. They found out some information that was hidden. Mm. So yeah, speaking of health. It feels like your spirit guides are really wanting for you to, get, to find some type of balance. That's you all day, Libra. Balance. Finding some type of balance in your life. Making sure that you take care of your body, taking care of your health, meditating, eating healthy, 
feels like you might be making some major life change lifestyle differences some of you Libras maybe you're working out maybe you're exercising more going out in nature maybe getting in tune with your guys maybe this is what I'm seeing like with these rituals um, it feels like you're like spiritually gifted it really does or maybe that you're curious about more curious about spirituality it could be that this relationship that you were in and you, you know finding yourself with getting out of this relationship maybe it has drawn you more into spiritual things maybe it is causing you to delve deeper like within yourself maybe you're doing some self-work here but yeah it's very clear that your spirit guides are um trying to communicate with you sending you some very clear messages and it could be that maybe you did feel lost at one point in time uh, about your career, about this relationship and where it's time now that you've figured that out. You know, it feels like you might be but that this creative project that maybe you're working on, you're releasing these constraints, right? Maybe you've kind of hemmed yourself in into a career. Maybe you've gone to school so long for something in particular. Maybe you feel like you're kind of stuck doing the very thing that you've been doing for the longest time. So yeah, maybe you're thinking about venturing out and... Um, deciding to be your own boss and realizing some things about yourself that you really do have the skills to really the skills and the knowledge to start your own business you might be collaborating with some people around you there might be some partnerships that you might be developing with certain people um this could be some type of support or assistance that could be coming to you this could even be government assistance there might be some fears related to starting over in general, like with relationships, putting yourself out there again, and even like with work. But I feel like, you know what, your spirit guides are really encouraging for you to face your fears and, and to like work beyond these fears. I don't know, it feels like there might be some communication that you might have with somebody Oh, some of you yeah speaking of communication I did mention spiritual gifts some of you might be psychic mediums maybe you do speak to um, those that have departed like those who have passed away like for some of you I'm seeing like um, a male figure that may have passed on I'm a male figure it could be I meant to say a mother figure but my mouth said male figure. I don't know. For some of you, it might be a male figure. For some of you, this is a mother figure that has passed away. A mother figure that is walk, watching over you. I don't know. You might even have like a family member that is deceased that maybe is not really um, all that thrilled over the person that you're dating. I don't know. It kind of feels that way. You got a neglectful father here. A father that has been neglectful of his duties. This could be somebody that maybe you co-parent children with. Some of you, this could be your own father. Maybe you haven't seen your own dad for a, a period of time. You might have your, there might be a father that might be coming back into your life. Your dad might be a Libra. Some of you, you're going to divorce court, right? You're, you're finalizing some things, find, finalizing some legal documents in your life. I don't know some I'm hearing somebody needs to stop running what are you running from I don't know it feels like somebody might be running from intimacy running from closeness some of you're running from your calling like you are maybe rebellious rebellious of I don't know what you feel like you ought to be doing but it feels like you, okay, what is this with this confinement? Solitary confinement is what I'm hearing. Oh, some of you may not want to be alone. That could have been why you were holding on in this relationship in spite of the fact that it's just been this unhealthy ride all this time. Some of you could be dealing with somebody who was in jail. Somebody could be facing jail time. So it's very clear that there's something in your life that's causing you a lot of anxiety and pain. Maybe you've been journaling to um, kind of like work through this pain that you've been dealing with. Um, it feels like there is someone that's coming back to correct their karma. To pay off some type of karmic debt to you. 
So it feels like there's some type of communication. It feels like someone wants to talk to you to get on the same page about some things. And on the outside of this relationship has been a lot of gossip that has been going on. It feels like there's been somebody that has been running their mouth about you. It could be your partner. It could even be your family. Maybe this is you, like venting to your family members. Or, um, I don't know. Maybe this is your ex that you're in separation from. Maybe they, you found out that they were venting and talking about you to others. Maybe to the person that they were cheating on you with. There's some type of envy around you, and it could be this Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. This, this could be you, though, Libra. This could be you. This could be others envying you. This could be you running your mouth, though. It could be. Oh, somebody's dropping their pride. I did say somebody might, you might see somebody as boastful and egotistical. It feels like there is somebody that's getting ready to um, drop their pride. Maybe you did call them out, Libra, on some things. Maybe you did. Maybe there was something that you decided to get off your chest. Maybe there are some things that you want to say. Maybe you really haven't communicated the things that you really wanted to say. Or maybe that's how this person might be viewing you. Maybe there's some things that really they want to say to you. I did say there's a conversation Somebody may want to talk to you. Maybe you want to talk to someone. You might feel that it's a waste of time. Maybe you feel like somebody over talks you. Doesn't listen to anything that you have to say. Doesn't let you get a word in edgewise. And somebody might be a loose cannon. Maybe you're hoping that somebody will let down their guard. Let go of their pride. So that you guys can have an honest and healthy conversation about something. And it feels like somebody might be coming back. This could be your child coming to you to have this honest conversation with you. It could be sibling to sibling. Some of you might be dealing with some type of sibling rivalry. Maybe you might feel like your sibling might be getting more attention than you. Maybe this is some type of childhood issue that might be, you know, returning back to the surface. Maybe there's some, some old ancient history, old beef between you and somebody. Maybe it's coming back to the surface. It feels like somebody is in separation from you. Maybe you're in separation from your mom. And it feels like somebody really doesn't want this separation and would like to start over with you. But at the same time, I did mention like there's some outsiders. It feels like there's some naysayers to this relationship. Maybe there's somebody that is really in your partner's ear or your ear. Somebody could be pulled in several different directions about what to do about this relationship. But it's very clear that you got an Aquarius here and you got the Queen of Cups. Could be um, an Aquarius Pisces, possibly. Aquarius Pisces Cusp. Maybe this is you. Maybe you have um, Aquarius and Pisces in your chart, Libra. It feels like there's somebody that wants to come and talk to you. I'm trying to see what somebody wants to talk to you about. Yeah, they want to get to... Um, it feels like somebody wants to let go of the petty arguing. Somebody might feel like... The things that you guys have argued about in the past, they, they want to let that go. It feels like somebody wants to be civil with you. Like I said, and have a real honest conversation without any type of pettiness. They want to have a petty free conversation without explosive tempers. It feels like somebody really wants to get their point across and they really want to be heard. Random. Somebody might have a gambling addiction. Hmm. Feels like somebody has some type of an addiction. I said say somebody's a user. Maybe that's what it is. Um, but that's the case. It feels like somebody is tired of the emotional roller coaster. And um somebody feels threatened by you. And it feels like somebody feels thrown out, feels like, like they've been discarded, like cast aside. Oh, and it feels like somebody might be, um, it's so similar to Aquarius kind of, it feels like there's somebody that might be creating some type of false identity to communicate with you online. Like hiding behind some type of fake identity to spy on you. Yeah. 
And we got an Aries. You got Aries and Taurus. This could be an Aries Taurus cusp. Could be. Yeah. So some of you, this is your family members. Somebody may want to come back and, and resolve a situation with you. Because it feels like somebody has a lot of regret. Somebody might have a guilty conscience about how something went down in the past. Might not really feel like you're going to accept their offer. This King of Swords. This might be you. This could be your kids coming to talk to you, Libra. Like I said, maybe they feel like you can't get a word in edgewise. Somebody wants to say something. And let's see. I'm trying to get to it. Like, what does somebody really want to say? Somebody might be having car troubles, by the way. Like, somebody may have wanted to come and talk to you for the longest time. But maybe um, this might entail some type of um, long-distance travel. I don't know. Long or short distance travel. It feels like somebody might be having car troubles. Amanda. Car accident. Somebody could have had... I don't know, somebody's car could be in the shop. I don't know why I'm so fixated on vehicles. Yeah. It feels like there is somebody helping you with some type of creative project. Creative idea that maybe you're, um, you're considering or thinking about. All right, Libra, let's see what they want to say. Yeah. But, yeah, I feel like you might be making some type of fitness goals. You might be deciding to really work out, to, to decide to work out. Compassion, forgiveness will set you free. See the light in yourself and others. Somebody wants compassion. So, honestly, it genuinely feels like somebody wants you to hear them out. Somebody wants growth. Like, they really want to reach a turning point with you in this relationship. They no longer want to be in this place of contention with you, frustration, they want to like move past that. Like somebody feels like this relationship has been very stagnant. Somebody again feels like they haven't been able to get their point across or convey what they really want to say. Somebody doesn't feel like they have a voice in this relationship possibly and they really, really want to feel heard. It feels like this is really parent to child though. Yeah. I promise you it is somebody, somebody could be passing away. Whatever the case may be, it feels like somebody wants to cross a bridge with you. Like they feel like they've been stuck on one side of the bridge. Maybe there's somebody that really does feel like they have like literally like, actually burned a bridge with you and they want to bridge that gap. It feels like that. So let's see, where do we go from here with the Libras? Libra sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Somebody wants to give this relationship a chance again. If some of you, this is platonic love. It feels like this is a relationship between parent and child. Family member, you know, family member to family member, friend to friend. Somebody may want to give this relationship a chance again. May have felt like you guys um, parted ways on a very um, difficult note. Maybe over something petty in hindsight, somebody might feel. Somebody really wants to be close to you again. Yeah, it feels like it. May want to be intimate with you again reestablish some type of like, like remove some type of boundaries that maybe were put up physically yeah it feels like somebody wants to reconnect with their soulmate because it feels like somebody's like heart and soul has been yearning for you it's like they're calling in their soulmate they're trying to manifest you back in their life and it looks like it might play out yeah, so maybe you have been waiting to hear from this person. Maybe there's been some a time that has lapsed between the last time you guys talked or seen each other. And it feels like there could have been somebody that came in between the two of you in the past. That could have been a cause for this time lapse. Feels like maybe somebody fell short or there was a relationship that really didn't play out the way that somebody had hoped. And it feels like, yeah, somebody has this desire to really reconnect with you. And it feels like somebody's really been missing you. You've really been on their mind. And so I feel like they might actually pick up the phone to contact you. The issue is it feels like some of you, there may be a block. Like Maybe you blocked this person. Maybe you changed your phone number. Maybe I did not mention moving. So maybe this person might find a way to get in touch with you. Maybe feels like they have to come and see you in order to resolve this Um 
this burden on their heart that they feel to really um, connect with you again. Somebody that really, re really realizes that there are trust issues between the two of you guys. I'm just hoping for an opportunity maybe to correct, like I said, some type of um, karmic debt that somebody feels that they owe to you. So he's looking for that opportunity, it feels like. And maybe they've had enough time to really think the things over. Maybe they feel like they've given you enough space to really think things over. And maybe that presents the opportunity, right? For them to break the ice with you. It could potentially turn out to be a success. It's just gonna depend on the, the two of you when somebody's intentions is to really turn this situation around. And yes, confirmation of what I was feeling. Somebody has something that they need to get off their chest. They want to say it. They really want to be heard. They really want to feel like the other person is listening. And that what they're saying really matters. They don't want you to just listen. They want you to really like engage with them and, and, and hear them like compassion, right? They want you to hear them from their heart, from your heart. They really want you to hear their plight. It feels that way, Libra. A cross watcher. So let's see. Um, the advice for the Librans. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Holy Spirit, the advice. Yes, turn criticism into kindness. Somebody feels really torn down, feels criticized, feels like you talk to them like a child. <sighs> Compassion, love, forgiveness. It feels like somebody really wants to reach that turning point with you. Let go of control and relax into flow. So somebody may need to let go of that controlling side of themselves. It feels like somebody likes to control, dominate the, the, the relationship or the conversation. Or this could be somebody that really um feels powerless feels like they have no control over the situation and needs to find a way to relax to really let their guard down and actually you know or to gather the courage really to be assertive and say what needs to be said in this situation with that Libra, this concludes your general reading with angelic ascensions looks like my battery's about to die if you'd like to book a personal with me, you can do so by heading over to my website, angelicascensionstarot.com is where you can book a reading. Thank you so very much for spending this time with me, Lee.